said before, the more you read, the more you want to share. Because God's word is miraculous, as the pastor has told us many times, it speaks to us. And many things, as we read, we in our hearts want everyone to know the joy that we have in knowing God's word and being able to read all his instruction and all the understanding of his word. He said in 1 Peter 4, Jesus, uh, Peter writes in 1 Peter 4, the end of the world is coming soon. Therefore, be earnest and disciplined in your prayers. Most important of all, continue to show deep love for each other, for love covers a multitude of sins. Cheerfully share your home with those who need a meal or a place to stay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. And it goes on to tell us of all those gifts. We've had so many gifts that each one of us has been given to use to the glory of God. And if you think you have a real purpose of being here and don't understand that your purpose of being here on earth is that God put you here to glorify him not self. And today we see that the world wants to glorify self. They put themselves as God and ignore God himself. And God gets very discouraged with people that do that. We as Christians need to realize that we are one of God's creations totally separate from each other and yet we are to love one another in Christ Jesus. We are to have the kind of love that Jesus taught before he went to the cross. And that's hard. That's hard. We have a country that is, seems to be following Satan's direction, ignoring God and grabbing for all they can get, thinking that they want to be number one boy with the biggest toys and the most stuff. I have relatives that have mm, pods full of stuff stored that they'll probably never use or see or even acknowledge that they have it anymore. It's sitting in those pods. And Satan's people are making riches by people that are foolish enough to rent those pods month after month after month. And just like on TV the other night on news, somebody bought one of them storage places. There were millions of dollars stored in there that the people didn't realize they still had. It's amazing what Satan's got going for the world out there. Jesus taught us so powerfully when he was here and told us not to put ourselves as gods, but look to Jesus. He, he, he simply said, as we take the communion this morning, he simply said, remember me. And in doing that, We often quote scriptures that Jesus asked us to remember him. 1 Corinthians 11, 23, starting with 23. For I pass on to you what I received from the Lord himself on the night when he was betrayed. The Lord Jesus took some bread and gave thanks to God for it. Then he broke it 
in pieces and said, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup of wine after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant between God and his people, an agreement confirmed with my blood. Do this in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. So anyone who eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. And he goes on to tell us that we need to examine ourselves when we take communion. Examine ourselves. Where are we before the Lord? How do we stand before God? Are we innocent or are we guilty? Are we saved or are we lost? Jesus wants us all to be saved. And so I pray that you'll be blessed this morning as you partake of the bread and the cup of our Lord. We ask, Father, bless the bread and the cup this morning, Father, and all who partake, that they might feel your presence and know the Holy Spirit has been given for us to enjoy the life that is ours through Christ Jesus when we remember our Savior Jesus dying on the cross for us and given us a new life out of Satan's hands that we are one in Christ Jesus. God bless each one who partakes this day and bless the emblems in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you.